Hola, I'm Bob Henderson, the Nomad Dad from Mexico for the Nomad Capitalist. Good to have you with us. Some of Andrew's associates in Tbilisi, Georgia, have come up with some of the ideas for me to discuss with you. And one of them that uh, Taco and Lika in Tbilisi came up with was, what holds you back from going where you're treated best? I mean, maybe you live in a particular section of the United States and you're not really happy with the way the community uh, does things, well, then move somewhere else. It doesn't mean leaving the United States. It doesn't mean if you're a British citizen, you need to le uh, leave uh, England uh, or Ireland or whatever the, the case may be. Australia, I don't think they will let you leave, so I'm not sure you have any choice. Maybe that's changed a little bit. But uh, the whole idea is what, what is it that stops you from going where you're treated best? I know when uh, I told my 92-year-old mother that we were going to spend more of our time outside the, uh, the U.S. down in Mexico, where we are now, uh, she says, uh, well, I'll bet, I'll bet you that a lot of people think you're crazy. <laughs> and I said, yes, including some of my siblings. You know, I think family plays a big part in this. Uh, what was it I talked a couple of weeks ago about uh, General Colin Powell's 13 Rules of Leadership, and he says, don't let other people make decisions for you. And that's, that's a brilliant uh, uh, leadership uh, idea. Uh, you're the one that, it's your life, you've got to make the decisions. Uh, I, 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 I think a lot of people feel guilty because they're leaving their family. That's why I gave Andrew the quote-unquote permission slip to go where you're treated best you don't have to stay where your parents are in that city, that state, or even that country. And so I, I, I think that family plays a big part of holding people back. Maybe you need to sit down and have a conversation and state your reasons why you want to do such and so. At least so that you're on the record. They may not understand. They may hold a grudge. You've got to ultimately make the decision for yourself. You know, I know that the human condition is this. A lot of times we're more concerned with losing than we are with what we might gain. And I think that there's a big part of a fear of losing. There's a fear of the unknown, and I'm partially guilty of that too. Uh, I know Andrew's done a much better job than, than I have in terms of being really aggressive and going after it and, and taking a big chance. Uh, and it is. I mean, it's, uh, you want to use some kind of a metaphor, it's like jumping in the deep end of the pool. I mean, if you totally gave up your citizenship, that would be jumping in uh, the deep end of the ocean, I suppose. But if we're just looking at pools the way I look at it right now, is we're past the, you know, the kiddie pool and the shallow end, and maybe we're moving a little bit toward the deep end of the pool, but we're not still fully there. I'm telling you uh, to, to partially move to another country. Uh, there are... I'm telling you firsthand, there is some stress involved. Things are different. Uh, Mexico, uh, <laughs> you know, you've heard all the stories. People here, by and large, are wonderful. Uh, the little town that we're in is uh, delightful, uh, but it's, it's different. And it's, you know, you have to get used to a different culture, different way of doing things. Uh, people don't necessarily have the same uh, work ethic that you're used to. Uh, they don't speak the same language in many cases, and, and so it's, it's not quite the same. I fully realize this, and there is going to be some change, but that's the adventure part of it, right? I think you need to embrace that. But in terms of the people that you're concerned, that are close to you, that the way they're going to view it, I think the best thing is to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, because I think this is one of the main things that keeps people from deciding that they're going to go where they're treated best. I remember I met a couple at Nomad Capital Live at Playa del Carmen in May of 2021. I believe they were from California and they had teenage kids and they were really concerned, well, we can't do anything right now because the kids are teens. And I understand that. I fully understand that, uh, especially as teenagers. But you know what? If you sat down with those kids and say, what would you think of us going on an adventure? Maybe do another country part of the year and you learning at a school in wherever it might be. Maybe they'll put up 
a big argument and, and that won't be such a thing, but you kind of talk it through. Maybe, maybe you'll be surprised and you'll find, yeah, mom, I can't stand where I go to school now, or I don't like this about the, the, the town or whatever. Let's do it. You never know. I think communication, open communication, because the family is extremely important. And, and that's, that's the sort of thing that I think really has to be out in the open. Uh, and maybe it's more than one conversation. So I think those are some of the things really holding people back, and of course, the fear of the unknown. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's, it's been somewhat stressful for us to, to make this move, and it's not, a, it's not a huge move, but it is a move that a lot of Americans, or not just Americans, but a lot of people probably wouldn't be willing to make. I'm Bob Henderson, so glad you stopped by. Love to see your comments you leave below. I'm the Nomad Dad for the Nomad Capitalist.